Next, we'll quickly demo ad hoc commands, which allow us to work with Ansible modules but without having to write any infrastructure code in the first place. And so we'll start by taking a look at the Windows server that we're planning to manage here. And first of all, we'll take a look at the baseline of the event logs. And we'll also take a look at the print spooler service and see that it's already in a running state. And that'll be the service that we test out with regard to ad hoc commands. And so we're going to filter an Ansible tower on this interface. And from here, uh, we've already seen this in a previous video a little bit in working with ad hoc commands, but to call it out, we are checking the box here on the system that we want to run the ad hoc command on. We'll go ahead and choose the win service module. We'll apply some credentials to it that we know will allow us to restart the service. And we'll go ahead and run with these arguments. So the name is spooler and the state is restarted. And so from here, we should be able to quickly launch this. And hopefully we get fast feedback from the tower environment and from the system behind it. And indeed we did. So we'll go ahead and take a look and see exactly what happened here. So number one, we're in the Trustful Verify business always. And so we'll see that the print spooler is in a running state. Well, let's go ahead and look behind the scenes at the event logs and see what actually happened here. So we, do, it does look like we've got some new uh, events here. And so it looks like it transitioned from a stopped to a running state. And so that's just a quick look at working with ad hoc commands in Ansible Tower.